Okay, hi everybody, it's Bernard Lynch here again, back in the kitchen for lesson three. And just to recap, check your tuning. It should sound approximately like that. And uh, we're going to do a couple of new chords, have a, a listen to or a look at a new song. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of lead and try and elaborate on the finger picking again. Last week we met the G chord. Okay, which is quite a stretch. Small finger, third fret, one, two, three, first string, uh, ring finger, same fret, third fret on the sixth string, and then the ring finger or the, the index, sorry, the middle finger in here. Okay, middle finger in here on the fifth string, second fret. And you're going to try the strumming. <laughs> stroke after the one. So the one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay? We had a look at E minor, I think, and if we didn't, here it is. It's just the E chord, which we've met already. Take away the, the, the index finger, and you've got two fingers left. Ring finger, fourth string, second fret. So that's one, two, three, four, fourth string, and one, two, second fret. And right above it, on the fifth string, your middle finger, okay? So you get that nice sound. So you're strong. Okay. And we looked at D. Right, so I'm trying to avoid hitting the, this bass note. It just doesn't fit in really with that chord, so you can kind of aim towards the lower part of the strings. And we met C, another difficult chord, but well worth stretching for a few more weeks you will you will get it right second string first finger all right first fret third string open fourth string second fret that's the big finger and then your ring finger up to here and remember when you can get the strong okay when you can get the strong and you can do it comfortably try to change at the end of one bar Change to D. And then E minor. And so on. Okay. We use that in a moment for a, a famous Beatles song, Let It Be, just to show you how it might work. But as well as that, you're trying to get this hand working by you do, doing these kind of arpeggios. Now, the trick to this is to keep practicing, first of all, to get these, string, uh, these fingers strengthened. But also, your thumb moves between the three bass, the three lower strings, the three strings nearest your head, right? So your thumb for G is on the three bass sixth string. So I play G and I go, and I skip two strings, and I go third string, first finger, second string, big finger, first string, ring finger, and then back to the big finger on the second string, and the index finger on the third string. Okay, and that sound off though is not bad. Is it? Same bass for E minor. Okay. C, I'm going to move to the fifth string for the bass. You see here, I've moved into the fifth string. which is the fourth string open, right? And these fingers are doing the same thing all the time there. Three, two, one, two, three, if you number the strings. Three, two, one, two, three, okay? So when you can do all that, right? I'm gonna add a few more chords in a minute. You might be able to try this. Now watch, I'm gonna strum really slowly and I'm going to sing with my croaky voice again, but just to get the feel of how you'd accompany a song, okay? We're gonna use G, D, E minor and C. So I think that's all the chords in this song, let it be right. Let's watch my strumming. Deep breath. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking. exactly like that. 
jongens, kom eens in het inmannen. Let it be. Let it be. It's going to take time just to get comfortable strumming, singing or having somebody else sing and getting really, really strong and, and steady with that rhythm in the background, okay? Right, a few new chords. A minor, okay? We've done A. Hope you can see that there, but it's second string, third string, fourth string, all second fret, right? A minor, I'm going to take the little finger away and put my index finger in here on the second string first fret can you hear the change from the major to the minor okay so do your usual check every string you're doing very bad here we are and when you've got the notes clear try your strumming Okay. And, and move around, get the hands going again. Now, F. We take the easiest version of F because there are several ways to play it. The tricky thing about F is it's a bar chord. It means you, this finger has to cover the six strings to play the proper F. You've got to get onto the first fret, get everything clear. There's a lot of bar chords. So we're going to start the easy way, just cover two strings here. The first finger is covering two strings, first and second string on the first fret, right? Okay, that, that's going to hurt a bit for a while. Then my big finger is going in on the third string, second fret, okay? And then this finger, the ring finger, is going in here on the fourth string, third fret. so far. Maybe you might be lucky you might find it easy. Practice that one for next week. And when you can do that, we'll do a slightly larger version of F, which is I'm going to leave these ones where they are and I'm going to move this finger up here. I'm going to put the small finger in there. Now I've got a, a fuller F. Okay. Okay. Only other thing I want to do is just a tiny bit of lead guitar. Right, lead is mostly played on electric, but it's nice to get practicing. Right, I'm going to show you a little run, which is this. Okay, watch which finger I use. I'm starting on the fifth string, fifth fret, and as I play the note, I slide. So watch what happens. I play with my thumb, or you can use a pick, or you can use your finger. It doesn't matter, right? But I'm going to play it and slide. So you hear two notes for the price of one. Watch. Okay, leave that finger kind of sit there and right under it on the fourth string, play the fifth fret. Can you see that there? Fourth string, so you get. And then the finger that was there goes to here. And it goes this. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing again from here. I'm going to play this note and, and slide up to two frets. Okay, and then go down to this string underneath it. It's exactly the same move in two different places. Okay, we've only got a little bit of time left. Go back down two, slide up, exactly the same move again. Okay, and the last one. Just as we run out of time, right? So there's one for practice. Seconds to go. Thanks very much. See you next week.